Okay, rewrite the equation so you know the slope. See, here's a problem. Yesterday we were graphing with slope y-intercept. Okay, yet now you make the wall. And you have to get the y by itself. Okay, the y is not by itself, so you can't do your mb. You need to get the y by itself. So what you do is make sure x and y both have numbers in front. They do. And if you have a minus, you make it plus negative. Now you dot the y, it has to be the y, and circle it. Now, if you have a negative, which we have a negative y, the, ne the number I just circled with the y is negative, okay? Just trust me on this, you need to switch the signs. And I'll explain why you have to switch the signs, and here's what that means. What's the opposite of positive 4? Negative 4. What's the opposite of negative 5? Positive 5. What's the opposite of positive 10? Negative 10. Okay, because you need that y to be positive. I'll explain why at the end of the problem. So you have to take out this negative 4x. You add 4x, but I look over here and I don't see an x. So I make a 0x, so I have a place where I can add 4x. Now you line up your equals, you drop down your 5 times y. Then you write your x first. You have to write, you can't drop your negative 10. Okay, you have to figure out what the x is. 0 plus 4 is 4 and then plus negative 10. Now y still isn't by itself. You got a times 5, so you divide all three of the numbers by 5. Those cancel and now y is by itself. Now I'm going to take my calculator and divide. 4 divided by 5 is, okay, I don't want decimals. If you get a decimal, you keep it as 4 over 5x, okay? Now I divide negative 2, 10 by 5, and I get negative 2. Now, what I have accomplished is now that the y is by itself, I have my m and my b. So the slope is 4 fifths, and the y-intercept is negative 2. Okay, So you would be set to graph that. You're not graphing it, though. Okay, next problem. Is the y by itself? Heck no. Okay. So, make sure the x has a number and the y has a number. You want to make that plus, negative, whatever. Okay? Dot your y, circle it. Okay? Is it positive? That's 7. It is. So, don't switch. Don't switch the signs like you did on the last problem if that number is positive. So, you add 3x. Then you make a 0x and you add 3x to that. Okay? So you line up your equals 7 times y, then you write x down, 0 plus 3 is 3, plus 14, okay? Then, you divide by 7. 3 divided by 7 is a decimal, so I keep it 3 over 7x. 14 divided by 7 is not a decimal, it's 2, okay? M, B. So slope is 3 over 7, the y int is plus 2, okay? Okay, next one. The y is not by itself, so you need to put numbers in front of each variable. Then you make it plus negative, you dot your y, and circle it. Okay, we have a negative, so we have to switch the signs. Okay, so go through here. What's the opposite of 1? Negative 1. What's the opposite of negative 1? Positive 1. What's the opposite of negative 6? Positive 6. Then you take out your 1x, and then you make a 0x and add 1x. I haven't explained why that needs to be positive, which I will do on the next problem. Okay. So I put x down, 0 plus 1 is 1, plus 6. Okay, then divide by 1. That's not a decimal, so 1 divided by 1 is 1. Okay, plus 6. So M, B. So the slope is 1 over 1. The Y int is plus 6. Okay. Now, I want to talk about why that has to be positive. Okay. A slope is rise over run. Yesterday on the assignment, the run was always forward. Well, 
that's why that needs to be positive because that number in front of the Y ends up being your run on your slope. You don't want a negative run. You want a positive. That's why. Because tomorrow, we're next assignment, we're graphing. You're up a crick if you have negative runs. Okay. Okay, next one. Is Y by itself? Heck no. So we got X2, Y to 3. Make that plus negative dot and circle your Y. Okay, if that's a negative, you need to switch the sides. Okay. Alright, so the opposite of 2 is negative 2. The opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. The opposite of positive 6 is negative 6. Okay. Then you add 2x because later that becomes the run of the slope. That's why it's got to be positive. Zero plus two is two plus negative six x. Divide by three. Two divided by three is a decimal, so it's going to be two over three x. You keep it as a fraction plus negative two. So M B. So slope y int. So the slope's two over three. Y intercept negative two. Okay, next one. Okay, so x and y, x has 6, y has 5, that's good, make it plus negative. You need to do a switch signs because you do not want that later becomes the run on the slope. You can't have it be negative. So opposite of 6, negative 6. Opposite of negative 5 is positive 5. Opposite of 10 is negative 10. So I add 6x. Then I make a 0x and add 6x to that. 0 plus 6 is 6 plus negative 10. Okay, then you divide everything by 5. 6 divided by 5 is a decimal, so you keep it as 6 over 5. Don't write the decimal. I don't want to see that. You, can't, you don't want a decimal for your slope. Negative 10 divided by 5 is negative 2. And then M, B, so I know my slope and Y intercept to graph the line. So slope is 6 over 5, and then negative 2 is your y-intercept. Okay, next one, slope, y int. That's your, end of your, that's your answers to the problem. Well, in order to know that, you got to have the y by itself on this side of the equation. So x got a negative 4, that's good. y has a 3. And we already have a positive times y, so we don't switch, okay? Just leave it. Because you want that positive. If it's already positive, you don't switch it. Then plus 4x, plus 0x, plus 4x. Okay. Okay. 0 plus 4 is 4, and then plus 6. Okay. You divide all these by 3. 4 divided by 3 is a decimal, so you keep it 4 over 3x. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So the slope, 4 over 3, plus 2 is your y-intercept. Okay, negative 5x plus 2y equals 12. Okay. Okay, so x has a negative 5, y has a 2. Dot your y, circle it. It's got to be the y by itself because it's y equals mx plus b. So plus 5x, then you make a 0x and add 5x to that. Because you need that 0, so you're going to put x, 0 plus 5 is 5, then plus 12. Because you can't add an x to a number without an x. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. Then we divide all three of these by 2. 5 divided by 2 is a decimal, so you keep it 5 over 2x. 12 divided by 2 is 6. M, B. Okay. So slope, 
Wyant. So slopes 5 over 2, Y intercepts plus 6. Slope Y, okay. Negative 6X plus 2Y equals, that's a negative 6, okay. Okay, so, got your Y, circle it. Okay, that's already positive, so we don't switch. We don't switch there either, because that's a positive 2. Plus 6x, make a 0x, and plus 6x right there. Okay. Six and then plus negative six. Okay. Then divide all three of these by two. Okay, six divided by two is not a decimal, it's three, three x. So negative six divided by two is negative three. Okay. M B. So the slope's three. You wouldn't need a one under it. Slope always has to be in ratio form and then negative three. Okay, pause the video, do one through six, and you need to do seven, eight, nine. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it in the video. Okay, I'm grading the assignment. That's done. Okay. It says do these together as a class. Okay, number seven. Negative three y equals two x plus negative six. So I make a wall on the side of the y. y is not by itself. No, it's not. There's a negative 3 with it. Okay. And also make sure the x over there has a number. Now the x isn't on that side, but I still need to make sure it's got a number in front. So I dot and circle it. If you want to make it. Okay, you got to switch the signs. You can't have that 3 times y. You can't have the 3 be positive. So switch signs. Opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. Opposite of positive 2 is negative 2. Opposite of negative 6 plus 6. Okay. Now, you don't have anything to add or subtract. You're going to go straight to dividing here. Okay, negative 2 divided by 3, decimal. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So, MB. Again, that has to be positive because that becomes the run of the slope. Okay, and then plus 2. Okay, number 8. Here's the y. Okay, not by itself, obviously. Two's, y's got a 2, x got a 5. Okay, so dot the y. Now the y is here. Okay, it's positive, so we don't switch. Now, unlike the other problems, I'm minus 5x, and there's actually an x here to go off of. I don't need to make the 0. So 2 times y. 7 minus 5 is 2, plus 12. Now you divide everything by 2. Okay, 2 divided by 2 is not a decimal, it's 1. 1x one plus 6. M, B. Okay. So slope, y -int. Slope's 1 over 1, plus 6 is a y-intercept. Okay, number nine, last one. Okay, Y is not by itself, so Y is a two, X has a five, that's good. Now I focus on the Y. We wouldn't we wouldn't switch ahead of it, we wouldn't switch the signs, the two's positive, so don't switch. So you get your negative thirty to zero, so you add thirty. Now you're not going to add it to the x. You make a 0 without an x there, because 30 don't have an x. You need a number over there without an x, and you add 30. Okay. So you got x, you got 5. 0 plus 30 is 30. Okay. Then divide everything by 2. So you get five over, that's a decimal, so you keep it five over two x plus 15. Good thing I don't have to graph this because I wouldn't be able to make 15 on the y axis, but that's okay. Slope, y int. Slope's five over two, the y int is positive 15.